how you doing today? Thanks so much for joining us. We are Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we have got something for you that we have no idea how this is going to turn out because we're testing it for the first time. Have you noticed now that ads on Facebook for products have basically replaced the as seen on TV type of thing? I see everything advertised on Facebook, beauty products from eyelashes to hair curlers to everything in between and I named those two in particular because I'm guilty of buying them. Yes! So today we are going to test out for you magnetic eyelashes. That's right. Eyelashes that have magnets in them that promise to stick to your eyes and do miracles. So we're going to check that out and that starts right now. Alright, so we have not even opened these. I'm going to need glasses. I will too, no doubt. Now, I actually originally ordered a pair from a website called Choicest One. And when it was charged to my PayPal account, it came up as Storm Media. I tell you that because I ordered those more than two months ago. They have not arrived. The tracking has stalled on them and the company is refusing to send me another pair or to refund my money. So I cannot recommend that you order from Choicest One or anything that shows up as Storm Media. I bought these from Wish and they were considerably less expensive and they arrived very, very quickly. So they come as four pieces. Did you get them? Yeah. Yeah, that's just okay. four pieces. So it's four pieces, two on each eye. So the concept is that you have one piece that goes on top, and then the bottom piece goes right underneath it on your top lash, and then they stick together, and you don't have to mess with glue, and they're reusable. So we're going to try it. <laughs> All right. This could, whoa, whoa, this could get interesting because I don't know what piece goes on top and what piece goes on bottom. You think the bigger piece goes on top or the bigger piece goes on the bottom? Mine are pretty much the same. You're the size. same size. See, mine are different. I would think the bottom, this goes on the bottom. Okay, so for mine, because see, hers are the same size. And mine are a little bit different in size. So I am going to try, ooh, okay. Oh, uh, you know what? I think the small piece goes at the bottom. Small, pe small piece on the bottom. Okay. So when you get any false eyelashes, whether they're these or any kind, if you hold them up the way they came in the container, that's the corresponding eye. So this side is going to go with this eye, and this side is going to go with this eye. Unless you're like me and you didn't do that, and now you're trying to figure now it out. Now you stuck them all together, and now you're trying to figure out which one goes with which. This is why this is uncensored. And when I brought these over, she's trying to grab them out of the package. I said, no, 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 no. No cheating ahead of time. We wanted to get real-life reactions here. It's like a puzzle now. Yeah, I didn't do well in the puzzles. Okay, compare, compare. Right. Okay, so these go on this the outside. Go on that. That goes on the outside. This would go on that outside, and this would go on that outside. She does puzzles better than I do. Okay, now that we have our sides straight, let's see what we can do. Okay. Alright, so they say you don't use any glue, not even to get it in place, and that you just lay it on top of your eye. Now how it's going to stay there, I don't know. Ooh, it does. Okay. Oh, yeah. nope. <laughs> That's attractive. Okay, I got it on top of my eye. I look like Lucille Ball when she was losing that eyelash in the bar. All right. All right, all right, all right. You got it on the top eye? Uh, well, my eyelashes keep getting in the way. See, she has good eyelashes to start with. All right, top lash is on. It looks good from this angle. You got it! I did it! You did it with one try. It looks really good. No, seriously, look at that. That looks really good. It looks very full and voluminous. Kind of like velour. 
And these are a whole lot less expensive. Now let's see if sparse lashes can do it over here. All right. Is it is it on my eye? I can't see. Is it on my eye? I can't see. No. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. Here we go. Glasses. That's a good look. Okay, maybe we should try that one again. Wait a minute though, I actually I think it went into place. Did it go into place? Bless your eye a little bit. There you go. Yep. Oh, okay. Lay it on. All right, so you lay it on the top. And there's no adhesive on there, but it is laying on there. And then you take the bottom piece. And then you just wait until the little magnets. Mine aren't catching. Oh, there they go. Oh. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, where'd Spider. it go? Spider. Excuse us. Where'd it go? Okay. Don't let the dog eat it. Okay. So, All right. This is this the uh, this is the bottom piece. See, I think okay. I got my bottom and top mixed up. All right. I'm still stuck on this eye over here. All right. I think this one is the top. The longer one should be the top one. Oh, I think I got it. Okay, in fairness, my eye is watering and that may have something to do with it. Yeah, that's what we're going to say anyway. Okay. Okay. You know what? I can get the first one, but when I try to do my other eye, it's kind of like doing winged eyeliner. See, I can't get this other eye either. They're tricked. I can't get this other eye to line up with the little right. magnets. The little over. I got you now. Ha 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 ha. Whoops, it got me. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I think I got it. Sorry to cover my face, peeps. They look really good from this angle, I have to say. You look voluminous. <laughs> okay, I think I got mine. Yours looks very nice. What do you think, peeps? I actually like these. Okay. I wonder how Should long we... they wear. I did notice when we took them off of the card, these are flimsy just like any other false eyelash that you would have. Because you're not using glue, I would think that they would be quite reusable, but if you're gonna do these, be as careful and handle these as gingerly as you would any other false eyelash because I can see where they could get stretched out of shape pretty easily. What's wrong? It won't curl it. All right, hold on. You got it. Ta-da! What do you think? Ta-da! Baby blues are just Ooh. covered with lashes. Boys make passes at girls with eyelashes. Yes, they do. I like these. I really like these. And honestly, even though we did kind of have to play with them, I fooled with these a whole lot less than I fooled with strip lashes. And they're very comfortable. How are yours? Do yours feel heavy? Because yours are fuller and thicker than mine. No, they do not feel heavy, as a matter of fact. They don't feel any different than regular false eyelashes. To me, these feel lighter on my eyes than regular false eyelashes do. They I can see great. me wearing these every day. Especially once you get used to fiddling with them. And again, got these from Wish, and they were less than 5 bucks a pair compared to the $20 that I paid for the ones that never came in the mail. Again, the name of that company, Choicest One, Star Media Limited. 
Yeah. So there are a whole lot of different companies that are selling these. I can't compare them because Wish is the only place that we got them from. But as a concept, I think it's a brilliant concept that frankly I thought was a gimmick that I didn't think was going to work. We thought it was going to be a joke. Really? We totally we, did. We, we did. were thinking this would be a good... <laughs> yeah. So to answer does this thing really work? Yeah, this thing really works. I'm going to wear mine again because especially as someone who has no lashes, who's sensitive to mascara, mm -hmm. there's no glue or anything like that on here and there's nothing bothering my eye. I'm digging these. I, I'm, I'm very impressed and I'm not going to lie. I thought this was going to be full crap. Do they look natural? They do. See, that's another thing. When you have very sparse lashes, you have to be careful that the lashes don't look... That look what? Did you catch that? One more time. <laughs> <laughs> I like! So yeah, if you're thinking about getting a pair of magnetic lashes, just make sure you get them from a good company. Or Wish. Or Wish. Which just, is a good company. Which Wish is a good company. And we're going to do a full review and a full collaboration with Audrey Aiken about Wish. But I will say Wish backs up their products. They do that. They're good peeps. They're good peeps. So, as far as these that we got from Wish, yeah. Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. Worth giving a try, especially for as little as we paid for them. I think they were $4 for one pair and $3 for the other pair. Two Real Chicks approved. Yeah. You betcha. Yeah. Magnetic lashes. That's the way I'm going to go. Yes, me too. I, I love you, Ardell, but I think I may have found a, a replacement. We would like to know if you've ever tried these magnetic lashes, and if you did, what was your experience like? Just leave us a comment down at the bottom, and on your way down to the bottom, you will see this red button. It's a subscribe button. Pop that button and subscribe, and next to that button is a bell. Ding! That bell will alert you each time that we upload a new video, and baby, you don't want to miss us. We're Two Real Chicks, and we thank you so much for watching, because it always makes our day that much more special when you keep us company, and we thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for joining us. So, until next time, we're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we love you. Mwah! Bye! Flash, flash, flash!